know that uh, the Torah is going to live forever. We also know that the universe, the depth of the universe has no end, according to what a lot of scientists are saying, you know? But, and we know that, the, that in order to have a beginning, okay, we gotta have, in order to have a beginning, we have to have a beginning, but there's an expression. To, to every beginning, there is an end. Uh, what do you say to that, Rabbi Mintz? Is there a beginning and an end to everything? Or is there a beginning to beginning in order to have a beginning? That's a philosophical question. Oh boy. It sounds like that's that, that, oh boy. that kid that wanted to know when God, kind of like that kid that wanted to know when God started. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not a true statement. God has no beginning, has no end. So the whole thing, the theory, is totally false. People are talking about physical things, not, not spiritual Shh. things. If it has a beginning and an end to it, that's true, physical things. But spiritual things, God is spiritual. He has no beginning, he has no end. So I would say it's true to a certain extent of physical, earthly, mundane uh, objects in the world. But as far as God is concerned, there is uh, definitely no beginning and no end. Who can I call? 